Hi everyone, it's time to get started. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is a presentation all about cloud telephony. I sure appreciate you taking time out of your busy days to attend our event. My name is Bree Fernie. I'm part of the team at Clearly IP in the marketing department. So I will be your presenter today. A little later on, I have Tony joining us. He will be presenting to you in a more technical format, a live demonstration of how you fire up a cloud telephony platform using our Clearly Cloud Unified Communication as a Service solution. He's also going to lead the Q&A to answer any questions you might have on some technical bits. Right now, we have everyone muted, but feel free to post any questions in the webinar control panel at any time. We are also recording this webinar for your review later. And I anticipate today's webinar will take approximately 45 minutes to an hour with some Q&A at the end. So we're going to overview here what is cloud telephony what the benefits are and the advantages for business and really how it works. We get asked a lot of questions by new startups and even existing businesses with old legacy on-premise phone systems. They ask, what are the main steps when you're making that leap to new technology, when you're making that transition to a cloud-based platform? People are really just looking for a simple explanation or the basic principles on how to set up a cloud platform. So we're here to help with a better understanding of that process so you can really wrap your head around the timing and any preparatory work that you need to do before you make the upgrade. So our agenda is I'll start with explaining cloud telephony. I'll go into some benefits and advantages of unified communication as a service. We've broken things down into eight steps uh, to implement a UCAS hosted managed type platform. I'll review that with you. And then Tony's going to step in and he will demonstrate these steps uh, utilizing our UCAS platform, Clearly Cloud, and we'll wrap up with some questions. So let's dive in. So we'll start with a basic explanation of what is cloud telephony. So cloud telephony is actually pretty simple to explain, but it can be a little more complex to execute. But hopefully after today, it'll be a little bit easier to understand and wrap your head around. So what it boils down to is your telephone system is run over the internet. Software and hardware interface with your internet service provider to allow voice over internet protocol, shortened to the acronym VoIP. So it's an internet-based phone system and it can be in the cloud. Uh, you can host it yourself or you can align yourself with a third-party host. And typically the platforms are in virtual machines in data centers. So with Clearly IP, our solution is in, on our own servers um, in our own data centers around the world. So cloud communication providers build, operate and maintain standardized telephony platform offerings on their servers with customers gaining remote access via the internet. So when you dial a phone number you want to call, your service provider handles the routing. It converts analog voice signals into data packets and transmits them over the internet connection. So that's how it connects your phone to the person that you're trying to reach. So again, one of the biggest differences here is that you no longer need that big PBX on your wall. You don't need to house a phone system or any hardware at your location, which means way less headaches for you if you don't have the resources for someone to oversee your equipment on site, then this can be a really helpful solution. Plus, no outages due to your hardware failing in your office either and waiting for a technician to rush to site. So let's go back to UC as a service, Unified Communications as a service. So cloud telephony is a type of UC as a service. And we get asked, what is the difference between UC as a service and VoIP? Well, VoIP is usually just a voice service provider for inbound and outbound calls. UC as a service is essentially looking at all business communications and putting them over internet protocol with the provider offering all-inclusive services. So VoIP is a single mode, UC as a service is multi-mode, texting, chatting, video conferencing, screen sharing, um, video meetings. So all of these make different modes of communication. 
So what are the advantages? Why are businesses switching to the cloud? So the key here really is that the pandemic has very quickly changed everything and accelerated businesses adopting cloud. Physical office is closing, but let's say the businesses are still operating. They need a cloud phone system as they don't have a physical location to house a PBX. And they also need mobile solutions that a cloud telephony platform so their employees who are working from home or maybe are road warriors have access to the system and maybe soft phones for mobile or desktop. So staff working from home really do need a remote solution to be able to work as if they were in the office and make and receive calls as if they're sitting at their desk in the office. So ease of expansion is pretty incredible with cloud telephony. Ease of contraction helps with any staff turnover and it can really help in an increase in call volume. Some other key reasons are better automation, improved control, so you can better manage your own platform, and scalability. If your business is growing, it can easily scale up, or let's say you need to decrease some extensions or users, you can scale down. Deploying a cloud system can be automated. So back to that automation, you can set up each phone manually, is no longer necessary. Instead, a template can be created and sent out to multiple phones, meaning deployment of physical IP phones is fast and smooth and easy. And the ability to customize and control your system from a single interface is often quite invaluable. You can run your telephone platform through the cloud, which allows you to add or remove lines in minutes, allowing companies to grow their telecom system without waiting for a third party to make changes or even bring new expansion hardware to site or increase your licensing. This can be really valuable when you're adding additional employees, either in-house or remotely, or even if you're firing up a new location somewhere else. So scaling up, expanding, and growing with your business is great with Cloud Telephony. Another question I often hear is, how is a VoIP phone system different from an analog phone system? So we need to establish here what sets voice over internet protocol VoIP phone apart from an analog phone. So an analog telephone, it connects directly with the PSTN, the public switch telephone network through dedicated landlines and phone calls are facilitated by your local telephone company, effectively requiring a, dinner, a direct connection to a phone jack. Whereas IP phones connect to the telephone network via a VoIP provider through your internet service. It turns the audio into data packets and transmits them using the IP internet protocol. The provider's data center then transforms the signals into analog and transfers them through to the PSTN. So since SIP phones don't need dedicated landlines. It's actually easier to scale an office with VoIP with a traditional phone system to, that is sharing phone service with multiple employees and on-premise PBX is required is really a lot more challenging to expand as you typically need station cards licensing and then you have to look at your power supplies and it goes on and on. So definitely easier for scaling. There's many other advantages and benefits too. Um, ease of setup, uh, improved self-administration, plus likely competitive rates to meet all sizes of business budget requirements. And a big one is redundancy solutions. That's important. With cloud, you can actually have redundant solutions in place, whereas those old PBXs were very difficult to set up with any redundancy. Other benefits of cloud calling compared with traditional on-premise options, um, some proponents of cloud telephony say it is certainly more cost efficient. So by offloading hosting and management responsibilities to a cloud communications partner with subscription and pay-per-use models, it really does enable resource pooling. So organizations can reduce their infrastructure overhead costs and it's flexible. So an employee with a cloud-based telephone number can take and make inbound and outbound calls really anywhere that they have an internet connection. So enabling more seamless mobile work. And they say it's resilient. So while a natural disaster like a fire 
or other emergency event could take down an on-site PBX system, cloud calling services tend to offer more resilient services and more reliable business continuity. Most cloud telephony services have some sort of built-in failover modes that make sure a backup is available if a problem does occur with the connection. So some peace of mind there. I've already mentioned that it's scalable, that organizations can typically add or change employee telephone numbers on demand. Um, hopefully you have a, access to a self-service portal to enable efficient employee onboarding and offboarding for both on-site and remote workers. And it's streamlined. So with cloud calling, organizations don't have to bear the burden of implementing, maintaining, troubleshooting, and updating on-site systems. Instead, third-party third party providers can handle that infrastructural upkeep and upgrades. And transparency, many UC as a service platforms can provide rich data analytics, offering information about user behavior, call flow traffic, and insight into optimizing your employee efficiency. So we know what VoIP is, let's discuss how you can begin setting that up here. So I've broken it down into eight easy steps. Again, this is a basic principle and it is when you are upgrading to a unified communication as a platform, as this is the trend, majority of businesses are moving to a unified communication as a service platform aligned with a third party. So the key here is this will allow you to then rely on experts that are telecom experts who will manage your phone system for you versus trying to become experts in-house yourself or have someone full-time um, you know, administering and supporting your phone system, which can be really costly and high risk, especially when it comes to a vital communication platform like your business phone system. So these steps might vary a little bit depending on which cloud provider or platform you choose. However, it's a common steps regardless of platform. So step one is you're going to choose your preferred setup. Um, what, what is your preferred setup um, for your business and with your third party provider? Second step is you're going to need to do an audit of your network and your internet connection. Third, you're gonna align yourself with a VoIP provider based on the features that you need now and in the future. Next, you'll be able to make sure and invest in the right VoIP hardware like IP desk phones. Fifth step is identify how to get or retain your existing business phone numbers, which we call the porting process. Sixth step is to start setting up your VoIP phone system, figure out how you want your system designed and all programmed. And then the next step is you start testing your phones, your VoIP lines, your system, and then lastly, train your staff and monitor. So let's begin with step one, choosing a cloud platform. So when you're considering moving, a business to a cloud phone system, the first question you need to ask is, do you want it managed? Do you want it hosted? Do you want it hosted, but you want to self-manage? You need to sort that out. Provisioning and managing a phone system these days is not simple. So having access to basic self-administration and user management of your own system is very common and something you should definitely check when you're looking at VoIP providers and deciding who to go with, make sure there is a self-management tool or a self-service portal. Um, if you're asking or wondering about, you know, basic costs of a UCAS system, you know, low-end hosted VoIP systems can cost anywhere from $10 to $25 per user per month. Mid-range systems can cost anywhere typically from about 25 to 40 per user per month and high-end enterprise level systems typically around 40 to 60 per user per month so once you've chosen your provider then you need to move on to a review of your network and your high-speed internet so you're going to want to do a proper audit you might be concerned about how much bandwidth voip uses a rule of thumb is about 100 kilobits per second upload and download per line. So most internet service providers now offer gigabit speeds with their business plans. So your current connection is more likely fast enough to accommodate a VoIP system, but don't make an assumption. You definitely want to check that. Voice calls do use very little packets. They're not a huge bandwidth sucker like downloading major files or streaming. Uh, one caveat is that some home office connections might have slower upload speeds, such as 
some DSL connections. So you do want to be super careful if considering going to a cloud-based system and having at-home workers to ensure that their home office has adequate high speed to support their VoIP phone system. In addition to speed, the issues that can impact VoIP call quality are often related to the instability of a connection. So jitter and packet loss, they're two metrics to examine. A wired internet connection like fiber cable is always preferred. Microwave and other options are often too unstable to accommodate a VoIP system. So your network hardware as well needs to be looked at. It can be a bottleneck if you have old routers or other network gear that can't handle peak traffic. You could then experience some choppy audio or other issues like drop calls. Wi-Fi works fine in most cases, but a wired connection is always better. Definitely take a VoIP speed test to stress test your network and identify any potential issues way in advance. The results will give you a good idea of whether or not your connection can handle a VoIP installation. You might also explore configuring a QoS quality of service um, to prioritize your VoIP packets and data. That way your voice traffic is placed above any other traffic, ensuring less latency and packet loss. All right, the third step is you want to also make a decision based on the features that you're going to need. Yes, pricing and security are also very important factors, but the features are key. What features do your people rely on now? And look at what you think they're going to need in the future to go with a future-proof solution. So switching to VoIP doesn't just mean you can replace your landline. It's an opportunity to move your business into the next 21st century at no extra cost and get those features that you're looking for. So you want features that are really going to increase collaboration, empower efficiency, and cross-department communications. You could get, let's say, a video conference solution, chat engine, call analytics, and other unified communication solutions, not just a basic phone system. So before you make your choice, make sure the provider has the right features you need. You can see in this list some of the features you will want to consider when shopping vendors. And you want to check on the vendor's network to see if they have numerous redundant data centers to provide high reliability and performance if it needs to scale. And ask about security. Uh, I know that with our Clearly Cloud platform, we offer some features that are typically only found on costly enterprise solutions. So as you can see here on this slide, this is an example of some of the over 100 functions available on our platform. And we offer unlimited extensions so the system can grow with any size business. We offer voicemail, auto attendant, IVR, call center features, conference calling, call record, chat, video calling. So it's really an all-inclusive solution with everything you need, which makes it much easier when you're making a decision that you don't have to worry about add-ons or additional pricing for features that you might want in the future. So you can really elevate the quality and reliability of your phone system with going to a UCAS platform. So the fourth step is to consider what VoIP hardware you're going to need. Don't forget about that QoS hardware that you might want and any other network type gear. But let's talk more about physical IP desk phone endpoints because they're very important when you're considering this. We are finding the trend is still for businesses to have IP desk phones and a combination of desktop soft phones and mobile soft phones. So if you already have your VoIP provider chosen, then the next step is to invest in your VoIP hardware. Since VoIP has become the standard for businesses over the last few years, there's lots of cutting edge options. Definitely check out our YouTube video on our Clearly IP SIP series business IP desk phones. We really break down the type of equipment you need and should want and look for to get the best out of your VoIP platform. If you want your phone calls to sound great, you really should invest in high-end proven IP desk phones. Our CIP series phones all offer gigabit pass-through, power over Ethernet, support of HD codecs, G722 and Opus, along with a lot of other necessary features and technologies you need. So you can see there are a few considerations listed here with some default features that you are going to want in an IP desk phone. 
and make sure that they can connect VoIP headsets. VoIP headsets are great to complement your business phone so you can walk around while on calls. Um, agents will have both their hands available to type and talk, so you should verify your phones will support wireless headsets with either Bluetooth built into the phone or that the phone has a dedicated headset jack or can support an EHS electronic hook switch adapter. Having a three-in-one headset is great. A three-in-one headset, three headset will work with your IP desk phone, your smartphone, and even your computer with the desktop soft phone. Uh, we do get asked, can we keep our old desk phones? You might be able to use a VoIP adapter called an ATA, analog telephone adapter. You can make the switch then to VoIP and keep all your analog phones for savings on new hardware. But this is typically tough and a little bit tricky. The VoIP adapter functions between the phones and your network, digitizing the analog signals. Just be aware that this is where some voice quality issues can come. And most businesses do make the move to new IP phones when they're making the transition to cloud. So it's really important when you're considering your phones that you ensure you have all the features that you're looking for and that they're also really easy to set up and configure. Um, we have three models of phones here at Clearly IP, R230, 250, 270. We're into version two of our phones now, and we have our sidecar um, for busy answering positions, the 200. Our phones are priced from 115 to 199. That's US MSRP and uh, shows that you can really afford to buy high-end VoIP and endpoints but at a really affordable cost but let's say you just simply cannot afford the capital purchase then you can look for a provider that can offer device as a service which is monthly rentals of the phones we at clearly ip here do offer this um, it can be as low as four dollars a month for an included rental phone and we offer this program through our u.s partner channel so it's a great for solution for businesses with us today that are needing to make this transition to cloud but don't have the budget to buy all new IP phones, you can look at device rentals. I'll be mentioning a little bit more about this later and an actual promotion we have right now on um, very, uh, let's just say low cost included IP phones. So continuing on this step four, in combination of your desktop IP phones, your users can also have soft phones. They are great as users can then be more mobile, work from home. They can use a soft phone on a desktop, tablet, or even a smartphone mobile device. And I mentioned the trend really here is to go with the combination approach, both physical and soft phones. Your staff will require headsets with soft phones, so you can figure out what you wanna do there, whether you wanna do wired or wireless, and perhaps a three-in-one solution. Okay, next step, we're almost through here, is you need to determine how you're going to retain or obtain business phone numbers. So depending on your VoIP provider, a local fun, phone number is typically included with your VoIP plan. And you can have a few ways to get new numbers for your business. If you already have phone numbers, you simply port it over. Otherwise, you can select a local number that's available, or you can choose a toll-free number. There are a few different types of phone numbers. Of course, local phone numbers in your local area. You can get toll-free numbers. A toll-free number is an 800 number, untied to a location. And it can seem a little more professional and trustworthy to your customers, and your customers won't have to pay when calling your support lines. And there's also vanity numbers. Vanity numbers are typically memorable, toll-free numbers that spell out specific industry words. For example, 1-800-Flowers. So we at Clearly AP, we offer local business phone numbers for all the US states. And also we offer toll free and virtual phone numbers and local numbers in 80 countries. So if you don't want a new number, then you simply figure out how the porting process works and how you're gonna move your old phone numbers from your local telephone company to your new cloud provider. So keeping your existing phone numbers with porting should be easy, as long as your vendor knows what they're doing. So number porting is how you transfer phone numbers from your existing service provider to your new one. Um, here at Clearly IP, we handle all of this for our customers from beginning to end. Um, to transfer any number, you can follow these three simple steps. You know, after you've picked your business cloud system plan, you're going to then either fill out a um, com 
a letter of agency and LOA, actually you have to fill this out because the letter of agency is going to provide all the necessary details on your phone number so your provider can handle the porting process with your old provider. But you can also ask for temporary numbers. You could let your provider know that you need temporary numbers and that you need to have them on day one. So you can set up call forwarding with your old provider and begin using a platform right away. So you don't have to delay getting on board your new cloud platform, waiting for your numbers to be ported. How long does it take? Well, it can take anywhere from seven to 14 days. Here at Team Clearly, we handle the porting in around five to seven business days. We have a really seamless um, process that we take customers through. We handle everything on the back end and make sure that we get your numbers ported over as quick as possible. All right, step six. This is the fun step where you get to figure out how you want your new cloud telephony system set up and designed. So once you have your provider and you've done your system audit and you've figured out your hardware, it's time to complete the design of your system. So the specific steps depend on hardware and the number of employees, of course. You'll likely be working with an onboarding specialist or a new system designer or program. First, you'll need to develop an extension list with all the staff's information, corresponding phone extensions and phone numbers, locations of the phones, and all the pertinent information for how you want your calls handled and routed for daytime and nighttime operation. So once all this information is, in, is compiled, then the system will be programmed in the back end. Everything will get set up and hopefully tested. And then the next step, is to plug in your phones. You'll have to make a decision with your phones. Are you using power over the ethernet? Or if your network won't support that, are you plugging in your phones with AC adapters? So I'm not gonna go through the steps up here today of how to set up your phones, um, but you know we can always assist you with that, but it's pretty straightforward. Step seven is testing your new VoIP lines. So if you did everything right, you have a fast connection, you won't have any issues here, it's better to be safe than sorry. Things you should pay attention when you're testing your system and making test calls, you're going to wanna to check the audio quality. Are your cl calls clear and consistent? Is there any static or maybe other signs of low quality audio? You wanna check for latency. Are there any significant delays between when you say something and the receiver hears it? and definitely look into your connection stability. Did any of the calls temporarily drop? Some firewall settings can cause calls to drop entirely after a certain amount of minutes. So it's definitely worth testing, even staying on calls for a 15 to 30 minute duration to test for any connection stability issues. Um, you should also test your lines when there's a lot of network activity. Network congestion can lead to a variety of line issues from drop calls to choppy audio and more. So check that for sure. Um, you can also call our Clearly IP diagnostic service number to confirm your caller ID. Definitely check that your outbound caller ID is showing the proper business number. Uh, we've got a really great service for that. Um, the phone number is 920-666-1392, and it'll let you know what your caller ID is showing. All right, let's step, last step here is training. I really want to talk about this because you want to make sure your staff receive the training to really utilize the new system and features and have a total understanding of the technology. For small businesses, a switch to VoIP represents the first time they have meaningful business features on their phone system. So these calling features are typically included with their traditional phone plans, so they might be unfamiliar. So with Clearly IP, you can have a single extension with your physical IP desk phone and your smartphone, mobile soft phone and your desktop soft phone. So this could be very new to them. They can also have custom routing policies, call forwarding, voicemails to email, recording calls and much more. So you want to ensure your staff make use of these features. You should set aside some time to train your team. We always recommend doing training sessions of 30 minutes in groups of 10 people. You might think this is not necessary, but it really is. You don't want your people having a negative experience with the adoption of the new technology or being too slow through the learning curve because of the lack of training. Employees really want to use business communication equipment so they can focus on being efficient, productive, and collaborative. Here at Clearly IP, uh, we have quite a few um, training materials and training presentations to help your companies through the learning curve. You can use our extensive library of training videos on the platform, on the phones, user manuals, online guides, 
quick reference guides that will make it really easy to understand all the features and the new interface. So voila, you finished the eight main steps for effortless VoIP setup. And one of the reasons our customers love us at Clearly Cloud here with our Clearly Cloud platform, sorry, is because it's so easy to get started. We do take you through the, the process. We do a hand held type of red carpet personal service to get you onboarded. I'm going to talk about our platform, our Clearly Cloud UCAS solution, just before Tony gets into the live demo so you know what you're looking at. When we designed our Clearly Cloud Unified Communication as a Service solution, we wanted to make sure we aligned with six main goals. We want to make sure it was easy to set up and easy for users to learn, that it was intuitive, that it was competitively priced with all-inclusive features and flexible terms available. We also designed the platform with business continuity in mind for stability and security. Our Clearly Cloud platform includes a really slick call panel that offers all the users an intuitive interface to use and manage the phone system. We offer professional service for customers that need it when they need help with the onboarding and ongoing management. You can let us know if you need a lot of help or if you want to self-manage. And our platform was designed to scale. So it has scalability from one to 10,000 seats. So it really meets any size business needs. And our features, as I mentioned, are equal to those offered on enterprise type systems, but it costs significantly less so being more in reach for small business so things like call parking find me follow me enhanced 911 that's an important one and unlimited extensions are just a few of the features here that that we've outlined that are included so i'm going to talk about our call panel and then i'm going to hand things over to tony so clearly cloud offers a really high performance call panel we get some great feedback from our customers their users just love this call panel platform it's highly responsive it gives users insight to active calls on the system they have access to their their personal contacts the company contacts they can see what colors are in a conference room to who's waiting in a queue how long they've been waiting so call panel offers some really advanced features and functionality that your users will need to conduct day-to-day -day business. It also allows system administrators to be able to control what users have permissions to and what users have access to for improved visibility and management. So the call panel has a main navigation bar across the top of the screen that will engage users with access to the features in an all-in-one application. So it's a simple interface that allows easy management. Um, you can add or remove users it's quick and easy you can look at recent enhancements we've just announced that users can have their own personal contact list as well as access to the global list of contacts access is permission based so you always have control over your security i could go on and on about all the recent enhancements definitely check that out in our recent blog about all the new stuff we've added to clearly cloud um, we can talk about call centers briefly here. Our Clearly Cloud offers tools that will suit almost any basic call center requirements. You can view and manage your queues, view statistics, and see waiting calls. We offer conference room management within the call panel. Conference rooms are an awesome feature for all of your remote conference calls happening these days. We support up to 25 video calls and up to 100 voice calls. This is, of course, dependent on the number of lines a customer has. Conference room management is handled via the call panel, so it really is easy to manage. And most of you are or should be already familiar with voicemail. So our call panel offers a total voicemail platform administration to check your voicemail, record your personal greetings, your company greetings right from that interface. And you can access call detail records, a record of all call activity. Is that your fingertips here with the call panel, which makes it really easy to monitor and manage. You can view calls both inbound and outbound, as well as adjust date ranges and control callback features. This is a great tool for businesses looking for call reporting and billing. If you want a video conferencing feature that allows for screen sharing and chat, we've got it, meaning that you can 
always very easily share your ideas in the video conferencing platform. And another great feature is SMS and MMS support. Right from our cell phone, this allows you to send and receive quick messages. If you notice a coworker is on the phone currently and someone is at reception or on another line, you can let them know. We touched on mobile soft phones. Our mobile soft phone at Clearly AP is called our Clearly Anywhere mobile cell phone. It's an app that can be installed on your Android or iOS device. It also works on a tablet. So your people can really work anywhere, anytime. This can really elevate productivity. Okay, that's enough of me speaking. I'm going to start handing things over to Tony here to take over and show you how to actually set up a cloud system. And then he's going to take you through the call panel. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hey. There you are. Hi. I am here. Okay, let me get Welcome. my screen share set up. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So we're just going to do a quick show you how fast it is to get a system up. And then um, Bree wants me to kind of just show um, call panel a little bit. So bringing up a system is pretty quick. It's done within our portal here, trunking.clearlyp.com. You'll notice I have some what we call locations here. So there's some trunking locations, and then there's a Cloud PBX location. So I can add either just trunking or Cloud PBX locations. So since everything here is about Clearly Cloud, we're going to go add a new Clearly Cloud location. And then we can pick from different subscription types. So we have a month to month, 12 and 36 month, and a new 60 month program we just launched that includes a um, CAP 250 phone rental at no charge. So for our demo, I'm going to pick our month to month plan. We have a two user minimum, so it's automatically set me at two full users. And then we have a concept of vanity users, actually a brand new feature we just introduced. And vanity users, um, can't make any outbound phone calls, so they're blocked from making any phone calls, but they're used for things like general voice mailboxes or um, overhead paging devices that might be SIP-based or door access control boxes that are SIP-based. So they allow devices to register, and they can call internal extensions. They just can't make any outbound phone calls. So we can set how many vanity users we want. So in our example here, let's say we had two vanity users and five regular users. So see the shopping cart calculated. The first 10 users are 93.70 a month total. And then we have two vanity users that are a total of $6 a month. So um, at checkout time, we're getting a 50% discount because we're buying mid month for the full users here. So our, at checkout time, it's gonna be 52.85 and our monthly recurring will be 99.70 plus any taxes. So we'll go ahead and say, yes, we want to go ahead and provision phones with our cloud device manager. So if you've got third-party phones, we include a tool for free, $0 cost, right here, CDM. So CDM stands for Cloud Device Manager. It's a tool that lets you provision over 300 different manufacturer phones onto our platform. So we'll hit next. We're going to give this a name, webinar, and a description, webinar cloud. And then we need to provide the uh, a username and, and email address associated with the, the login for our Clearly Cloud system. So I'm gonna do T Lewis plus webinar test one, two, four, just so it's a unique email. I'm gonna make the username be the same as the email. So the reason we ask for an email is uh, for password reset purposes. So. If you are trying to log into the cloud backend system, you forget your password, we will do the password reset to whatever email you defined here. We're gonna check this box, which is gonna send us a little welcome email saying, we've created your new system for you and here's your login. And I'm gonna set a default caller ID that I want used so I can override this per extension, but this is just gonna be the default. And then our physical address for where we tax for tax rating, we'll hit next. Now we can start buying phone numbers. So you can skip this if you're going to only port in numbers. Or if you need new numbers, you want temporary numbers, you can purchase them right from here. Oh, I do not want that. Wisconsin, Appleton. And then we can grab one or two numbers or however many you need. So you can pick. If you want to search a little bit deeper, you can say, I want it to end with 1175, and it will filter to anything that ends in that, which apparently I don't have. So we'll hit next now. And 
we can then uh, we get nine one one with this. So for enhanced nine one one, so we're saying yes, and you, the the initial location is not free. So you're you get it free. I'm sorry, the initial location is free. The initial nine one one location. If you have remote employees, um, you would have to purchase additional locations. They're at fifty cents a month on a month to month plan, and they go down to I don't even remember thirty some cents on a three year contract. So of course the first one's free. We're gonna verify our 911 address is correct here. And it's gonna come back all happy and now we can hit next. And then normally this is where you would add your credit card and pick your credit card. I happen to be set up with terms, so I'm gonna check out with the terms. Uh, if you're a nonprofit or, or larger organization or a government entity, we do have the ability to grant payment terms. So you don't have to use a credit card, just reach out to sales. And it's gonna go bring up the whole system for us now. So it's gonna generate the invoice, buy all the phone numbers and bring up the system. I've got a sample system over here. It's actually one of the guys in support Geraldo's system that I'm gonna use. So this is me logged into the actual cloud system. And this bringing up the cloud system takes about 30, 45 seconds on the back end. So we can even check back here in a minute. But it, it will bring that up on the back end pretty quick for us. And then, of course, you've got that welcome email already to log into the back-end phone system here and start administrating your whole UCAS system. So from here, we're not going to really walk into all the different settings, but this is the admin interface for managing everything. So if you need to create users and IVRs or announcements, you know, setting up your calling queue, all that's done right from within this administration. If we go back here, yep, it's finished. So it brought up our system. Everything's happy, and we can hit close, and we have that new cloud system. So we actually go look. I'm going to go to that one. So, you know, it takes, like I said, about 30 seconds. It's pretty quick. So there it is. And here's that phone system. And from here, we can start creating our extensions, our IVRs. Our phone numbers are already here. So if you look, that phone number we bought here. And if we go route that somewhere, that number's active and already receiving calls. So if we went and sent that to, I don't have anything created yet. So we'll send it to terminate. And we'll say put caller on hold forever. So once you go lay out your whole phone system, um, your IVRs and different things, and uh, we can assist with that. We generally will we'll get you involved with a technical partner um, and, and help you with your rollout, or we can assist internally depending on what your needs are um, and, and what type of plan you're buying with us. But we go ahead and administrate the whole phone system. And from there, you can start connecting your phones and you're up and running. So to talk about call panel, I'm logged in here with call panel. And this is our uh, operator panel for users. So every user gets access to this. There's no extra charge for it. And from here, we can see a lot of information. So I can see a bunch of different users on the system. I can see, for example, Susan, and she's online. So I got a little green bubble. That tells me she's got at least one phone connected to the system. And then the online is her current status she has set. So we can see it's blue now because she's making an outbound call. So at a glance, I can see what's going on. And oh, there she's on a outbound call. And we can even see the call ID. And everything here is permissionable. So we might have permissions that say you can see if they're on an active call, but not the caller ID. Or you might hide the permission of you're not allowed to see if somebody's on an active call. So everything inside a call panel is permissionable by the um, PBX admin or the UCAS admin and what they set up for, your, for each of the users. So from here, I can control my own order. So if I want Steven up on the top, I just take Steven and drag him up here. So I can drag and drop whatever order I want. I can also see at a glance, Bree's got do not disturb on. How do I know that? Because the little do not disturb icon here is red, where everyone else it's grayed out. So that's off, Bree's on, but she does not have call forwarding and she does not have follow me enabled. Where if we come down and look at Stas, he's got follow me enabled. So at a glance, we can see what state they're in, like do not disturb or follow me or any of those things along with what their status is. Um, I can simply call anybody. So if I wanna just call Susan, I just click the call and it uses the built-in soft phone. So no applications installed, no software needed. And now I'm on an active call. 
and from here I can put it on hold. Um, I can even start recording the call. I can transfer it blind or attended. I can start a three-way call. Um, I can mute. And I can even go in and start a new active call. So I can come up to the call button here on the top right and dial, I'm gonna dial feature code. And it's gonna put my call with Susan on hold immediately and now I'm connected to the other call. And if I wanna go back to Susan, I just unhold her and it puts the other one on hold. So it allows you to manage up to four calls at a time here. And we'll hang up that call. And then we can simply park calls, for example. If we wanna park a call, I can just hit the park button. You'll notice up here, we got a little one saying there's at least one call parked now. We can see Susan is on that park call because I parked her. We go over to parking. I parked it, Tony Lewis. I the caller ID of who's been parked. So if it's an outside call, it'll show you the outside caller ID and how long they've been parked for. And I can simply dial 701 from any phone, or I can hit the pickup button here and just pick it up right in call panel. And then I can even drag a call to a specific slot instead of just parking it to the first available, I specifically dragged it to 707. And I can bring that call back. And I can, I can also transfer a call by a simple drag and drop. So if I want to send Susan over to Bree, I just drag it over to Bree, confirm it, and I just transferred Susan over to Bree. And Bree's in do not disturb, so Susan hung up the call. <laughs> so really quickly at a glance, I can do a lot of powerful things. I can control who's in my dashboard. So if I don't want to see Luke in my dashboard, I can remove him just by clicking the little orange icon. I can go back to my directory over here, the little blue icon, and I can bring anybody back. So if I want Luke back, I can put him back into my dashboard. I can search by any extension number or by any name. And then I can bring them back into the panel or remove them from the panel. So there's a lot of other functionality. We've done some pretty good webinars just recently, Bree, in the last month or so on call panel that walks through all the different cool features all your video conferencing and, and management is done from here um, you can manage all your conference rooms and uh, mute and kick people out of conference rooms you can see all your cues and see stats about your cues and even drill into the details of the queue so if i want to see details about the cloud support queue i can see all the agents and i based on permissions again i can even pause and unpause other agents I can see callers waiting in queue. So under the callers tab, will show me all the callers waiting in queue. And then as a user, of course, for things like voicemail, I can see all my voicemails. I can listen to them. Um, this is an older one. If it's transcribed, it'll show me the transcription here of the voicemail. And I can read the transcription. I can just listen to it right in my browser. Um, I can manage all my email settings here. I'm sorry, all my voicemail settings. So like enable transcription, delete the voicemail once it's been emailed, change my email address, and I can even manage all my greetings from here. So I can listen by name greeting and re-record it, or my busy greeting or my unavailable greeting. So if I record a new one, I can upload it or I can hit the record button. Tony Lewis. And there, I just saved my greeting. And lastly, I guess would be um, settings that I'll kind of show. So there's a lot of settings related to a user. So under your profile here, of course, I can update my avatar by clicking the little avatar edit pencil and upload a new photo and crop it. And those pictures are shown in the users tab over here for each user. And I can also manage different settings like my login four call panel, I can reset my, change my password. I can enable two factor for login. Um, I can manage all my call forwarding and follow me settings. I can manage do not disturb and call waiting. I have permissions to actually change my 911 to different locations. So if you had multiple 911 locations, you can grant permission to real time change where your 911 is for your user at any time. Uh, my media devices for that built-in soft phone, the default media devices. And then Clearly Anywhere, which Bree talked about as our mobile app, the really quick way to bring up Clearly Anywhere is just install the app, come over here, hit this little QR code, 
and scan that with your app and it will auto log you in and set everything up for you. You don't have to use your login username and password that you have up here for call panel, type that on your cell phone. You can literally just scan the QR code or you can log in manually with your username and password. And the last thing is a new feature, um, our chat, which is a beta feature. So with chat, you can have public rooms. So I can go into the random room and see all the conversations. Yeah, yeah, my status. And I can go, I can have private rooms where I have to be invited. And then I can have conversations. I have all my direct messages over here. And then I have all my SMS. So I can uh, send out bound SMS, receive inbound SMS. I can start a new SMS. So I can pick either chat or SMS. If I pick SMS, uh, it defaults to my phone number. If I have multiple numbers for messaging, I can pick which number, but I only have one for mine. Then I type in who I want to send a message to and type in my message to start it off. And now they can reply to that message. If we're anywhere in call panel and we get an inbound, let me try to send an inbound here. There we go. We got a pop-up notification and I can, even, I can close the notification or I can open the chat and it will automatically take me in the chat. Notice the little one counter up here also went on and it will take me straight into that chat or that SMS, either one. Okay, Bree, back to you. Awesome, Tony. Thank you so much. I think that um, this really shows everyone how clean and simple and intuitive it is to use. I think we should move into Q&A, Tony. We've got a few questions here, if you wouldn't mind. Yep. Okay, so what kind of security does Clearly Cloud offer? Very A lot of security, but it's all handled by us because this is a cloud application in our own data centers managed by us you're not having to worry about security. We're charging you by the user. It's our job to keep the system secure. We do a lot of stuff, things like we really push like two-factor login is a big thing we push on, even down to the call panel. Um, the admin interface to manage the phone system can be enabled with two-factor per user. Um, so we take security pretty seriously, but again, it, it's not something you as the end user have to worry about. That's our job to keep our platform secure. Uh, am I able to do some of my own maintenance and and just submit the bigger changes to Clearly P support team? Uh, yeah, so th that's the big design is it's all self-administrate. So from buying services, if you need to go add more phone numbers, we can go back to our portal here. And if we go look at this, there we go. If we go look at this system we just bought, we can change user counts. So we can add and remove users. So I can hit the little pencil and I can say I want seven users and determine that that's two more than I have now. So you can manage all that. You can add phone numbers real time and remove phone numbers real time and they'll automatically add them to your cloud system. You can add additional 911 locations and it'll automatically add them to your cloud location. And then you can ma manage the whole phone system. So every setting of the phone system. And of course, we're here to help you too. You can open tickets with us and, and we'll be happy to assist you on any setup and, and help on configuration questions. Since the phones will have an established internet connection before forwarding calls with Clearly P, in the case of network outage, staff within the office cannot contact each other right. Uh, yeah, so the phones themselves connect to our cloud. So if their internet goes down, the phones in their office won't be able to talk to each other um, because they're connecting back to the cloud system. So 100% that is accurate. How much is call panel and can I use it on free PBX? So call panel is included. That's all part of your per user fees. And no, it's not anything that could ever be used in free PBX. It's exclusive to our cloud platform um, and, and tightly built into our multi-tenant cloud platform here. Uh, where are your data centers? So we have data centers all over. We have data centers, uh, I shouldn't say all over, but we've got uh, four data centers that we run services in, uh, Montreal, New Hampshire, Wisconsin, and Phoenix. Clearly P seems to be a great system can it be used to forward outbound calls from an existing or locally installed PBX? I'm not sure what you're asking for exactly, but um, you know, all your numbers are bought from us. I'm not quite sure what you mean forwarding outbound calls from an existing or locally installed PBX. 
What did he mean by redundancy, Tony? No, if... I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to clarify in here. Okay. Is transcription free? Yeah, so um, two things. Voicemail transcription, of course, is free, and you can enable that per user. And then the other thing we do that's kind of like transcription is, is it was really the reverse is, for example, announcements. One of the things we get a lot of feedback on is people love the way we do announcements. Um, of course, you can add traditional announcements where you have them professionally recorded and upload them. But we also have built-in text-to-speech announcements, which sound incredible. So they use Google's APIs for all the text-to-speech and all kinds of different languages. So uh, from French, English, Spanish, you name it, pretty much every language is here. And even within a language, a lot of different types. So E in English, so E in US. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different languages or ten different voices you can pick from. So it's pretty simple. We just type in a name for the greeting, pick what voice type we want, type in our message, and then we can build and listen to it, and then create it, and now it's saved. And if we ever want to change it, we just come back, change the text again, and update it. And now that prompt's been updated. So it allows for really great uh, dynamically changing announcements. We also have the ability to let users manage their announce or let you grant permissions to a user to manage announcements from call panel. So I'm gonna go give myself quick permission on this. So I'm gonna go into permission groups. And I'm going to go into this test permission group that my users are part of, and I'm going to get grant permissions for announcements in call panel. And if I refresh over here, we'll see announcements tab now. We should. Hmm. Oh, I'm not part of that group anymore. Anyways, there would be announcements tab up here, and it will show you all those same announcements and let you change them and change the text on them. So. You can grant access to somebody with it, you know, who has a user account on the phone system to actually administrate the announcements without having to have log into the back end cloud platform. They can manage those announcements for your IVRs and stuff right from call panel and change them. Okay, I think that's let's go look. Any other questions? I don't see any other questions, Bree. So I think we're good. Okay, great, because we're two minutes from the hour mark, and I don't want to keep anyone much longer. <laughs> um, so I promised that I was going to uh, mention a special offer around device rentals or monthly phone rentals. So I just wanted to share with everybody that yesterday we announced a really cool promotion that we're running. It's on our all new Clearly Cloud subscriptions and it's called our switch and save promotion so if you are looking to make that transition to a cloud solution a unified communication as a service platform we'd love you to consider clearly cloud our switch and save promotion offers zero dollar phone rental so it's going to include our mid-range phone our cip 250 model phone rentals included at no charge for any new five-year plan minimum of four users it's a great opportunity for you to make that transition without having to outlay a ton of capital for new phones so you get these phone rentals for the five-year term they get returned to us at the end unless you want to continue on or do a new plan uh, we have another event coming up uh, before the end of the month, it's an essential guide to virtual faxing. So similar format to today, I'll walk you through the benefits of virtual fax. I'll talk about the different options, the steps, and then we're going to actually do a live demo using our virtual fax platform called SendFax.2. So that's it. Thank you so much to everybody. I know this was a long one, but we had a lot to get through. There will be a recording of this webinar posted most likely by Monday or Tuesday next week. So check that out on our YouTube page. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Tony, have a good one. And we'll connect with you in the next event. Thanks so much.